is an Oko. How did I get here? Look, everything is going to be like this as I read these names <laughs> yeah. out. And this, these are the ones that like I know how to read that are in uh, a Latin script. Um, I'm sure there's even wilder <laughs> ones that I don't. Including YHC Mochi, Fenrich, Aqua, Momochi, and uh, yeah, there it is. To get into this position, uh, for Oradin, uh, he had to get through, again, including many others, uh, Yoshikibi, Shuto, uh, and then uh, Jackie as well um, oh, wow. to get to this position. So they're all going to be like that. Shouts to him. Kami and Ken are who we're expecting. I'm really happy to see Kazunoko in this position. This is like one of the all-time greatest fighting game players. Yep. So many different games he's had big success in, including in the Street Fighter series. And yet, in Season 1 of Street Fighter 6, did not show up as big as we're accustomed to him seeing. So I'm happy to see him here. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Uh, I, I feel like Kazunoko has kind of uh, gracefully transitioned a little bit into the content creator life, you know what I mean? Like we see a lot of the players of his ilk, of his veteran status do so. But yeah, he still plays games plenty competitively. And uh, like you said, I'm very happy to see him. Yeah, I, he's one of my goats. He's one of my greatest of all time fighting game players, yep. as I'm sure a lot of people have him. And yeah, he's an incredibly solid fighting game player, no matter what franchise he's playing. And I think with the Kami, it's especially cool because it kind of harkens back to that Capcom Cup win right, where he was playing Yun and obviously made great use of the dive kick, saying, like, you know, the ground game, not equal to, to Daigo and a lot of the legends of Street Fighter in that aspect. So I picked the character with the dive kick, and, right, you know, right, I, yeah. I'm able to do stuff like that. And he obviously knows his strengths and where he's really good as a fighting game player and where he needs the character to make up some of his weaknesses. And that is, like a key element to success in fighting games, no matter what. Like, being real with yourself and recognizing the strengths and weaknesses of you as a player and kind of finding the chemistry with the character that can accentuate those strengths, hide those weaknesses, it's huge. Always explosive. Always so difficult to get out of read on what he's going to be doing next. Yeah, very interested to see how it goes. And Oralina on the other side. That's the matchup. We'll head in to Kazunoko and Oradin. Yeah, and uh, you know, excuse us for talking a lot about Kazunoko rather than Oradin. He's definitely a newer face yeah, in the block yeah. for sure. I'm not familiar with him uh, until this tournament pretty much. So we're going to see how he goes up against one of the veterans of uh, the fighting game community in Kazunoko. And a very dangerous matchup, I think, for both sides as well. Obviously, both of these characters explosive. They like to be aggressive. They like to slug it out. Great corner carry for both of them as well. Like, a lot of momentum can be had quickly. And what a whiff punish right there. Wow. That crouch medium punch, it's an underrated normal for Ken. It's six frames rather than seven, like his crouch medium kick. Has the disjointed hitbox. Whoa! Kazunoko's been knocked down in the corner twice, and each time it's been EXDP as he wakes up. Again, you just, you never know what he's going to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nobody right? knows. He's willing to test early. He likes to play against the expectations of the opponent. He knows what the optimal answer is, yeah, and he'll use yeah, that yeah. against you, you know what I mean? Definitely one of those type of players. Very well targeted. But now, as Oradin has this huge life lead, he's really settled it down. He's got big control of the neutral game. No risks taken. Oh, man. I can't believe he ended up sniping that. Because I really like the rhythm that Oro was going with in terms of trying to find a hit. But Kaz has the corner now. Keeping it tight as well. He knows he can't afford oh! a press back. Dodges the DI and steals the round. Put the mask on, bro. Wow. All the way back. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like that idea from Orarina as well, the uh, the DI upon landing to see if they ended up catching a button. Kazunoko didn't have a lot of health left either. Right now, we're starting it with the crouch confirm. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I Prioritizing don't know. pressure. Yeah. Or if that was his intention anyway. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it was an intentional just run into Oki. It looked like it was timed at least, like it was intentional, or he's found himself in that spot before to know how to capitalize off it. And the stand fear, speaking of finding something from before, Level 2 extension. And, you know, you talked a little bit about this off camera, right? Not using the level 3 unless it's going to kill. Yeah. I like that idea a lot. You still drain a, a bar of drive even with the level 2. Maintain the resource. And in this match, I understand why he would want to get distance against Kazunoko because you just don't know. Yeah. Ooh. What is he going to do? Okay. No commitment after that. Yeah. Horadin takes the round. Yeah, that's one of the privileges that Ken has, especially when the opponent's in burnout, right? Yeah. You just harass with the Jin Rai and burnout. It's not really punishable with the ODDP OS kind of that you could do with a lot of characters. So you just harass, and a lot of people will bet on trying to interrupt that gap. I'm impressed at seeing Oradin consistently pressure, even though he's been wake up DP'd on three times. Yeah, He's yeah. just not giving up. He's in there. He knows what the strengths are. Yep, staying persistent with it. 
And it, it could work to a condition and establish the opponent long term, right? Yes. If you show them that you're willing to meet even in the face of getting wake up on. Oh, later on, that will pay off. And a counter poke with a crouch medium punch as well. That button is great for both of those things. The whiff punishes and the counter pokes. Huge drive disparity. Oh, no, nothing else. Like, very surprising, too. Honestly, a lot of that time, that crouch medium punch reaches so far, it I will know, combo dude. into itself. Yeah. One of the rare moments it didn't there. Oh, and again, the crouch medium push this time from Ken drops it. Goes for a throw reset to put him on a pixel. Can Kaz put the ski mask back on? No, he cannot. Rocking the full future track that time. Arain on the board. A little scary moment for him there. I'm glad to see that he recovered. Not getting the kill previously when he could have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the one for the books, but seeing so that lane some damage get away from him. But man, the crouch medium kicks full faith in them right there. Back to back does eventually find a hit, but look like a shimmy attempt gets thrown anyway. Yeah, you got to punish that. Here's Kaz. Haven't been that many big pressure opportunities for him. Backdash gets clipped as well, and then wakes up with his own ODDP. Kaz, nice and slave with the pressure. He's there. Again, a backdash willing to make such bets. I love that, too, using the OD Dragon Lash side switch. Just because of how cool it looks. That's why I like it. Wow, that is bravery walking forward. And with punished by Kazunoko. And Kazunoko really doing a great job. We talked about it before. Kami's max range stand jab is like such a menace. It can create so many weird spacing situations right there. The walk back gets a clean whiff punish. But now, DI lands early. We go into the corner real quick. Mm, back to back with the throws as well. He can already kill. Oh, okay, maybe definitely. not now. Trying to fight out of the corner. Borodin hasn't jumped, has been very grounded, very patient. Even there, keeping things tight. Yeah, but that back throw it honestly pushes the character so far for Kid. And it interrupts the dive kick as well. The stand heavy kick gets that. But it's tough to confirm. Does confirm the fact that Kazunoko was looking to bust out. Full punish into the kill. One up in the rounds. And great combo route choice to take it. Love what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I'm liking his combo routes a lot so far. Sudden bravery, big forward movement again. Yeah. I see, he did the jab the first time and then fierce the second time, yeah. trying to blow up like good timings, defensive button presses from Kazunoko. Yep, you can't have everything as a true meaty. Yeah, you can't. Oh, even then, right there, he let it rock a little bit, caught Kaz in the air. Ended up converting off it as well, but the wake up jabs didn't even counter hit. But Kaz is going to get a side switch into a DP off that. Yeah. Mm, yeah, just found the hit immediately. Jinrai was already committed to it. He yeah. can't extend it to the level three. That is not enough just yet. Still a great position for Order. Okay. Oh, scared. oh, Kaz actually backdashed into the level three to beat the fireball. Really great awareness from Kaz and a very scrambly high. Uh, Pace situation. Oh, a totally different story now. Suddenly, <gasps> yes. Oh, he got clipped. He and he spins more. all the way through. I don't think he's not gonna kill. But yeah, it's one not. more grab or not. It was not. So spending all the way through on the meter to get one final mix-up for the kill, and he was right. And Kaz going like that delayed dive kick right there. I wonder if that timing would have like jumped out of the way of a wake-up DP or not. Like honestly, it looked like it could have. Kaz very very sleuth with that round in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I Denying. like that. yes. That's what we talked about before, right? Even if he let it just rock and didn't go into the low extension, that's still minus seven on the medium gin rise, so the DP will punish regardless. Yeah. Yeah, very important tech for characters with DP is in this game. Back to this distancey game. Backdashing even, so concerned. Yeah, I, oh, man, Dude, but he the, is... I mean, the, the anti-grounded footsies is yeah. we're seeing. Now you're talking about it when he was playing Yun. Same idea here. Yeah, exactly. All these crouch medium kicks. And look, again... When it, as soon as Aura is trying to be in that max range poke space, uh, Kazunoko is just going to the air and dive kicking. It's been working out so far. Right now, Aura again is trying to be so aggressive, and the crouch beam kick actually does find a home. He's got to keep this running. Oh, my goodness. We're being so active. Ooh, yes. Wow. Aura. Gone. Oh, you don't know what Kazunoko is going to do next. Who knows? Yeah. Bravery moving forward. There it is. Aura just waited it out. Great stuff, too, because it's tough, like we talked about. Anti-airing dive kick and anti-airing Kami is very different than anti-airing a lot of characters. It creates a lot of hesitation that you don't have otherwise. Oh, speaking okay. of which. Very cute. Yeah, so that might have been like something similar that we talked about, yeah, right? Like that spacing thinking, on yeah. the wake-up, where he's able to dodge the wake-up ODDPs with that space. 
Yeah, she has little spacings like that, man. And she can get in your face if she chooses the dive kick instead of regular jump. Mm -hmm. mm, you reaching? Kaz has been teaching for a whole lot of years. One bar means that he kept close Oki here. Not to much effect. Oh, oh. big attempted stolen turn. Indeed. Nice and that'll job. Do it. I love the dive kicks against burnout opponents too because like they're always going to be at the very least safe most of the time plus. Yeah. Chip adding up in that instance as well. Ooh. Going with the, the drive rush crouch medium kick. You do have to commit to like a special after that. It's not like the privilege of the, the crouch light kicks. We kind of link it to a medium. Mm -hmm. so look at that. I like the jab usage from Ora as well, but that time got a little overzealous with the stand roundhouse. It happens to all of us Ken players. I understand. Yeah, of course. You love pressing it's a good the button. One. It is. Does great drive damage. Has a great punish counter follow up. Oh, I just wake that it is up. Cute. What the, what? Okay. That's and very important challenge good. too, because he was in trouble. Yeah. Out of burn or out of drive. In yep. burnout even still after that. Even still. I like the patience. Oh man, that dive kick happened so quick right there. And you can see again, right? He's not afraid to do it that close because of the burnout status. Mm-hmm. Mm, nice Here job. We go. Interrupting Cat. Oh, maybe not actually. Yeah, he didn't have enough. Oh, oh boy. Now burned out. Anti-air. Here we go. Into. I wonder if that driver rush freeze like ruined the dive kick input. Oh, Got gets him? the driver rush freeze. No. Can't kill just chip, needs the chip. Well done, man. Oh, what man. a battle back. That was. That was a slugfest at the end. Look at that. Still looking for that crouch medium punch. Both sides now. Sweet whiff punish. One of Cammy's best whiff punish tools. Oh, speaking of whiff punishing. There's that corner. Yep, link it. Love the Still for more. Oh my he did goodness. not even inch forward, no. by the way. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to be next to you at all. Like, it's cool, Brad. Kaz, of course, busted out back to back with it. And the DI. It was a little scary because he was low health, but great calculations. Oh, he's still a major threat. Oh, and yes. Again, right on the press back, catching the recovery. And, of course, the quick spin knuckle into the corner. Classic ski mask strat. I almost thought that EXDP that he did was sending a message for the next round, thinking, like, <laughs> right? How's he gonna, he's not going to make his comeback here, but he sure did. 100% I could have seen that. Again, busting it out on the Jinrai stuff. And That's what an sick. interrupt on, on the Dragon Lash. Gnarly stuff with the jab. Oh, that's a risk, yeah. They are not afraid. Neither one of these players. Here it is. Speaking of lack of fear. You have Cass. He's going to be able to close out the set with that one. Level three. Nice little chunk before the level three. Thanks to the DP. Yeah, two up just like that. And yeah, it, Final it, game. If Cass can really kind of lull order into a specific neutral where they're button pressing at certain timings. Kaz has definitely sniped him with dive kick multiple times. Yeah. So we'll see if Ord looks to adjust. And he already kind of is, to my knowledge. You can see right here, right? I think he would have pressed the crouch medium kick way before he just did right there in the previous rounds, but he doesn't want to get dive kicked anymore. Still wakes up with a reversal that gets blocked anyway. Tried parry. Kazunoko tried parry oh, again. Oh, man. Doesn't go back to the well, but does oh, bring wow, it out. Wow, perfect. Jeez. Okay. Match point now, Kaz. I love that structure of offense, too. But wow, what an explosive start to this round. Or the drive rush low, spinning four bars in the process, but he gets the meaty overhead for the link. Full combo this time as well. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Got it. Are we seeing the back-to-back -back perfect? Indeed we, we are. We are seeing the back-to-back -back perfect to set up double match point to get into winner's <laughs> finals. Come on. It doesn't get closer than that. Oh, man. Everybody's just right. Who's going to be right in the final, final round? That's going to be the most important. Because order in on the verge of two bars as well. Builds it with the drive rush. Trying to mm. neutral skip there, but Kazunoko denied afterward. Beautiful, yeah. Throw call out once again from Kazunoko using the OD dive kick and reversal. See the reward it grants him does empty the meter. Mortar in low on the drive gate. You saw him just pestering with the stand. Heavy kick. Thought he was going to do something because he was low on drive meter, so he gave him a space, walked back. Order in gets the corner carry now. Does block the overhead, but the DP is there. Oh, okay. and then faded out again. Oh, this is a 
really bad situation for oh. Kaz. No drive gauge. Oh, he's pretty much He's done. not going to have super. Yeah, if Aura is able to maintain corner when drive comes back, that is game. Oh. Wow. <laughs> but the spiral arrow it hits so late, it still allowed Kaz to take his turn. A whiff punish just with a sweep. No! <laughs> wow, that was genius! Oh. No! What? Yes, Kazunoko! Please! Oh, instead of the level one input to have gotten the kill and put himself into winner's finals, he just comes out with Dragon Punch and he oh. ends up in loser's side. All of that battle down to the very final oh. round, for it to come down to something like that is a heartbreak. It is. Both players scrap it tooth and nail the whole set. Honestly, we didn't see a lot of execution errors before that point either. They both look so clean. Very, very heartbreaking way for Kazunoko to lose the set. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. He played so well at the end, and then all of a sudden, made it out of the DP when he needed it the most and everything. Just, you know, end up flubbing it up. When the nerves were highest, right? I mean, that was, I'm sure, what led into that situation. Not historically a problem for Kazunoko either. Yeah. He's not somebody who historically has fallen apart in big moments. He's somebody who's risen to the challenge. Look at this. Oh my god. How many times in his life has he inputted stand light kick into super? Who knows? A billion. Yeah. But right there, he didn't get it. And so Horarin took advantage. He was in a position to be able to take the kill to get the set. You know, yeah. shout outs to him for that, right? It's not just about Kazunoko making the big error. It's about Orarin being in a position to have gotten the W if there had been a big error, and then, in fact, to get it. So shout outs to him. He ends up in winner's finals. Yeah, 100%. What's the, the old saying? Luck is like preparation meaning opportunity. That was one of those situations, right? He had really uh, prepared himself to obviously take advantage of that, but he put himself in the opportunity to win the set by getting all those rounds up on the board in the first place. So big ups to Odarin. We're going to see him in winner's finals facing the winner of our next set, which is Tachikawa versus Kakadu.